This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George went for a drive with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Look! Look, George! Look, George, the man said. There's a store in that chocolate factory up ahead. Let's stop for a treat. George loved chocolates. Inside the store, boxes of chocolates were stacked everywhere. But the man with the yellow hat found his favorite right away. George, he said, wait here while I buy these and play and please stay out of trouble. George looked around the store. He saw chocolate covered cherries and fudge flavored and fudge flavored lollipops. A chocolate bunny caught his eye. Then something else caught his eye. What were all those people looking at? George was curious. He climbed up to get a better look through the window. He saw lots of trade filled with little brown dots. <laughs> Where were all those little brown dots? George was curious. He found a door that led to the other side of the window. The little brown dots were chocolates, of, of course. A, a tour guide was showing a group of people how to tell what was inside, how to tell what was inside the chocolates by looking at the swirls on top. <laughs> this little swirl means fudge. This one that caramel is inside, and this wiggle is for marshmallow, and this squiggle is for truffle. This one is for nougat. This sandwich swirl is for orange fluff, and this is George's favorite banana cream. George banana cream. followed the tour group until they came to a balcony. Overlooking a room where the chocolates were made, down, down below, by busy workers picked the can <laughs> candy of the match matching and put, put them in boxes. Boxes, a box. These were the machines that made the chocolates with the swirls on top. The chocolates came out of the machines on long belts. But George was curious. <laughs> he climbed down from the balcony and up onto a machine. George peeked inside. He was trying to see what was making the squirrels run all of a sudden. The chocolates began coming out faster and faster. They, they by him to be running on legs on the other earth. Quick, bring your boxes, yelled a man with a tall white hat. What happened? Asked another man. 
Nobody answered. Nobody knew what happened. And everyone was so busy that no one noticed yours. No one knew what happened. The workers began to fall behind and the candy began to fall off the end of the belt. Save the chocolate! Yelled the man with the tall white hat. Meanwhile, George saw one of his favorite whiz, whiz by, whiz by. He tried to catch the banana cream chocolate, but it was too fast. He likes string beans. He likes black eyed peas. At the black end of the belt, a pile of chocolates was growing <laughs> taller and taller. George had never seen so many chocolates, and he searched for the banana cream. But the others in empty boxes. <laughs> Not all the chocolates made it into boxes, but no more chocolates fell on the floor. Yeah. Just when George and the workers were were all caught up. The the tour guide ran in with the man with the yellow hat. Get that monkey out of here, he yelled. He's ruining our chocolates. He's ruining our chocolates. But little monkey, save the chocolates, explained the workers. Then the man with the tall white hat said to George, You may have caused us some trouble, but you were but you were a speedy little monkey. You deserve a big box of candy for all of your help. George was glad he was not in trouble, but he did not take the chocolate. Back in the parking lot, the workers waved goodbye as George and his friend got into the little blue car. George, are you sure you don't want any chocolates before we leave? That's the man with the little hat. George was sure. 